tech companies need strong incentives to lure the best and to keep them. Y Group CEO Bevan Ducasse believes it is important to have a great office environment, but also says there are ways to motivate staff so they can give 100% of their energy to the company. I think what's really important about office culture that most people miss is uh, people often think culture is about attracting um, and really for us it's about activating people. So if you, if you have a whole bunch of people that are working, so we've got 90 odd people working at Y Group, and if they're working at 50-60% of their capacity, you get a certain amount of output. But if you get the right culture, you can increase that by 10, 20, 30 percent. And uh, that for us is the major key. And the way we do that is we make sure the culture is right. So from just the, the vibe in the office, so we have a cafe here that guys can sit around and activate and just be creative around. We have um, events where we have monthly catch-ups. We have sort of high performance clubs where we get people out and thinking. But the other one is just being passionate about what they're doing. So making sure we're listening to the guys and saying, are you excited about and passionate about what you're doing at Y Group? And, and are you, do you have the right direction? Um, and so those are the key things that we feel activate people. And if we can get an extra 10, 20, 30% out of 90 people, uh, that's basically a, sort of equates to an extra 30 people working in your business. And uh, I think that's really what, what culture is about for us. What's really important in any business is your, you know, the different levels in the organization. And it's not to be levels to say anyone's higher than others, but just empowering people at every layer in the organization. So we've actually got what we call DNA team, uh, where people in the organization are looking out for the culture within the area. Because there's no good me sort of having to pick up if there's something going wrong in the organization. But if you have someone in the QA team or in the dev team or in the ops team spotting when sort of that the vibe is down, the energy is low, the passion is down and, and, and trying to pick up what is making it like that. Uh, you know, why is that team not activated? And then having a forum where they can come and discuss that and then let's do something about it. So it's, you know, firstly listening to the team and, and, and everyone in the organization and then secondly doing something about that. So if it is we overworked, then let's understand why we overworked and why, you know, is that going to have an impact on them and then what can we do about it next month to improve it? Uh, is it we're not passionate about what we're doing? You know, we're getting bored. Okay, well how can we give you two hours on a Friday to just dream up new things so that activates you? Uh, you know, is it two people are clashing in the team? How do we resolve that? So there can be a number of things that take away from the DNA, um, but what's really important for me is everyone in the organization has to have a say and has to pick up those things. So they all, you know, I always say to people, it's where you are working in, in Y Group. It's, it's our office, it's our space. It's not Bevan's office, you know, or Bevan's space. And so how you want things to work in the office is, is up to you. And you need to also work with us on that journey. We've, we've just hit 90 odd people. So I think I can talk to the journey going through that 30 people barrier. Um, I think one of the, one of the keys for us was making sure we have the right people on the bus. Um, you know, when we when we start getting to when we got to sort of 30, 40, we realised we needed one or two key hires with people that have been through that journey before us, people with a maturity layer that maybe complemented us because we came out of a very young, dynamic, energised team, which is great. But you need to complement that with people that have only been there and run teams of 100 people because then they help stretch you and grow you, and yet don't detract from that energy and that vibe and the agility that keeps us who we are. So I think it's, it's about finding the right mix of people uh, that experience with the agility, uh, finding people that have been there before us so we can learn from them. Uh, and that's helping us break through those barriers. And whether it's 30, 40, 50, 60 people, culture is totally key. So keeping a finger on that pulse, you know, literally every day, walking around the office, understanding what is making us tick, and then catching those growing pains early. So you might have a whole lot of different growing pains, whether it's, you know, do you have seats, do you, you, know, do you have enough space, are the teams working properly? How do we how do we change that? You've got to be very flexible um, in, in how you do business because what you're doing when you're 30 and what you're doing when you're 60 double the size of people, and, and you've got to change. And I think if you're not ready or available to change, I think you're going to struggle. And I think that's the big thing for me getting to where we are now.